Thanks for tuning in. Jim Cantore here with John Hope as we continue to update you on Hurricane Bob. Earlier, we just had a statement. Uh, Dennis Smith grabbed for us. Uh, Block Island, 125-mile-an-hour winds when that came in. They also had some sunny skies. So that shows they were right uh, in the eye there for a little while. And now the eye is uh, going north, northeast still. I notice I have a new report from uh, Buzzards Bay. They're still gusting to better than 80 miles an hour. The wind there, Jim, is coming in from the southeast, and that tells us that the eye is going to slide up to the uh, uh, to the east of or to the west of Buzzards Bay, actually. Mm -hmm. Well, lots of heavy rain there yet, and a high storm surge. We have a lot of report of trees down. You know, all the major hurricanes that have hit New England have always blown down a lot of trees, and a lot of the damage is going to be caused by trees not only falling on the wires, the overhead wires, but on the houses as well. A lot of, lot of block streets. Unfortunately, I was looking forward to a nice foliage this year, John, up in southern New England. Let's go to the uh, Boston video that we have for you. This is very, very current, and we also have Herb Stevens on the line. Herb, you can tell us where you are in North, uh, North Kingstown, Rhode Island, which is south of Providence. Give us an uh, observation of what you're dealing with. Oh, the winds which had been blowing very strongly from the east slackened considerably and then the rain was just coming straight down. That lasted about 15 minutes. We didn't see any sunshine, but the skies brightened up. And then about uh, five minutes or so ago, the wind went into the west-northwest. They have picked up and it is pouring again. And it looks rather bright off to my uh, west. So I kind of get the impression that some whatever's left of that eye is going by or has gone by just to my west. I'm about two miles west of the bay myself, and it seems as though the eye might be a little further inland than that. Coastal Maine, as that storm goes up there very rapidly. In fact, we've been uh, seeing some scenes from Boston earlier today. This was shot shortly after 12 noon. Even at that time, with winds only up to about 35 miles an hour, John, they were still uh, seeing some uh, tree snapping and some structural damage to some of the houses in that area. And, and later in the uh, afternoon, uh, shortly uh, before 2 o'clock, we we're illustrating some more structural damage. Uh, these are scenes from Boston, Massachusetts, still fairly far from the storm as it's moving on in through Rhode Island right now. And so this is the kind of thing we can expect as it approaches Boston. The balance of the afternoon, the winds will continue to pick up. They will pick up stronger winds than what we've already seen, and you saw what it did already. And another point to bring up is high tide is about 7.30, 8 o'clock. High miles an hour. Winds 110 miles an hour. We will, of course, continue to cover it. Oh. it this afternoon um, down through areas of Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and Connecticut. The storm is continuing to move on off towards the north, northeast, about 35 miles an hour. We would have it in a position about 35 miles southwest right now of Boston, Massachusetts. The winds in Worcester and Providence have come around to the north, indicating also the storm surge. The path continues in this red zone as it continues on toward the north, northeast, and the storm surge, as I mentioned, coming in just before high tide, but eventually it will be moving up toward the main coast at high tide the hurricane force winds on shore now and the heavy towards the northeast now again heavy rainfall has been the order of the day too the dark green banding that you see on this uh, particular radar vantage point represents some of the moderate to heavy rains we've had reports in connecticut and rhode island of three to four inches lesser half of boston they'll have the strongest winds they're going to have and then it should begin to let up and the rain will let up there as well and this storm is moving quickly what are we going to see even by tomorrow well, it's going to clear. Oh, we're gusting as high as a hundred. We have some more information on the storm. The winds are 105 miles an hour. It is moving north northeast at 35 miles an hour. It would be heading on up through Portland, Maine, and on up toward Bangor as we move in into the evening. But you can see the coverage of rain. It is rapidly moving north and just to, almost up to Providence, Rhode Island, which was in the middle of very heavy rain. The eastern end of Long Island is still picking up rain. There's a low... Expected. We'll bring John Hope in on this just a minute. But I want to let you know it continues to be centered just north of Boston as the center of the storm right now. It moved on through areas like uh, Block Island about 1.30 this afternoon with 125 mile an hour winds. Falmouth, Massachusetts reported 94 mile an hour winds. And they even had some uh, heavy rainfall in Connecticut in areas of Rhode Island earlier this afternoon afternoon and even moving on up to Boston some very strong winds and some damage reported there well we're going to be talking to John in just a second but it's definitely showing a dramatic decrease in southern areas of New England where the Sun is shining right now while Hurricane Bob the center of it continues to move northeast of uh, Boston continuing to move on off uh, rapidly uh, about 35 miles. You'll see it even after it's right across uh, Cape Cod so it's not dead by any means 
But since it's not very far from Portland, I think it's actually a little bit southwest of Portland, I'd say that is. But it's moving 35 to 40 miles an hour now toward the northeast, and gradually it's going to cut across the coast here, somewhere in the vicinity of Portland, or a little bit past there. And I'll do that pretty quick, about, uh, I'd say, an hour from now, an hour and a half, something like that. And our concern earlier was it was moving a lot slower earlier, and we thought it would uh, coincide with high tides. That looks like it's going to be out of there by the time high tides hit around the Portland area. Oh, I think so. Uh, I th at least it'll be inland. And once it gets inland, then, then it will, uh, and especially if it gets, you know, over the uh, large landmass there, it will die out even faster than it has been. And I've seen the winds coming down even Boston after having some hurricane yeah. force winds have come down quite a bit.